I go in, I get a real driver's license, right? In the name of a guy named Scott Cugno. So I got a, a Scott Cugno driver's license, real license. I have his real Soch, everything. So one of the checks I had issued to Scott Cugno for 29 grand. So I go into SunTrust. I walk into SunTrust and I say, hi, um, Scott Cugno, I need to cash this. And the guy goes, 29,000, why don't you just deposit it in your own bank account, Mr. Cugno? And I said, well, because my bank account, you know, I'm in Georgia, it's in Florida, I'm gonna hold it for a few days and I, I need the cash. Okay, well, okay, well, this is really odd and you know, okay, well, here's my driver's license, here's my, here's a, here's a credit card, driver's license, yeah. here's my social security card, Yeah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. You need a thumbprint? Thumbprint, right. I'm already wanted. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, he's like, okay, we'll go ahead and have a seat. I have a seat, my, my cell phone, Give my, my cell phone is, is your razor phone, my razor, the razor, Motorola, <laughs> razor. <laughs> Motorola razor <coughs> is there and Becky's sitting in the car. So I wait, the guy comes out and he says, okay, uh, I, this is like the, the president, well, the, whatever the manager of the bank, he comes out and he goes, okay. Um, he said, look, why don't, uh, I don't understand. What do you need the cash for? And I went, I said, we're, I cash checks. I said, I'm a, a general contractor. I just did a job for somebody. They paid me with this money. And I have to, I said, I typically write checks to the guys that work for me and I cash the checks so they don't have to go to check cashing companies. And he goes, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. He <laughs> knows something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. right. He just can't figure it out. Right, he walks off. But I'm not leaving. Yeah. If you get something's the money. wrong and you start asking those questions, you would leave. Most yeah. people would leave. But I know you can't, I'm thinking he can't, he's not gonna figure this out. Yeah. No. So the phone rings, boom, boom. Phone rings. I pick it up. It's Becky. She goes, "Hey." She said, "What are you doing? What's taking so long?" And I went, "Calm down. The guy is he's, he's a jerk. You know, he's been a jerk about it. He didn't want to give him the money." Well, then leave. I go, "No, no, I can't leave." I said, "He's he's he's checking on stuff." So she goes, "Well, well." Uh, I go, "Look, look. Calm down." I said, "She's all nervous." Yeah. I go, if the cops show up, you see two. If you see two cruisers pull in, yeah. call me. Yeah. I'll run out the back. You meet me at the at the Seven Eleven down the street. Right. So she's like, "Okay, okay. Hang up the phone." few minutes later he comes out he asks some other question what about this what about that what i'm like where'd you get the check i said i i got the check from the homeowner and he goes okay and i said wait i don't understand what's taking so long i said it's a cashier's check written from your bank yeah the money's good yeah. he's like no the money's there it's just we have to there's a certain protocol we have to go through i said mm. okay okay so he leaves Phone rings again. What do you, what's taking so long? I don't know. The guy's a dick. I don't know what to say. Yeah. He's taking forever. He's, he's checking. I, checking on what? I don't know. Comes out again. And I said, hey, what is taking so long? And he goes, well, we're trying to, he said, turns out that the name of the guy is Michael Shanahan, the, the guy that owns the house. And I went, oh, keep in mind, I'm Michael Shanahan. Right, you're Michael right. Shanahan. So I went, okay. And he says, uh, and we're just trying to get a hold of Mr. Shanahan. He's the guy you did the work for. I said, right. He goes, we're just trying to verify the check with him. They're now trying to get in contact with Michael Shanahan. Wow. Who I've pretended to be using this zone. Right. And I'm like, and I've already signed it for the check. I borrowed 400,000. So I'm like, Jesus H Christ. So the phone rings again. It's Becky. Boom. Hey, what's going on? She goes, what is taking so long? I said, He's trying to verify the check with Michael Shanahan. She, it was complete silence. Oh, shit. And she just suddenly goes, get out of the bank. Get out. I'm like, I can't get out of the bank. I'm walking out with the money. If the cops show up, call me. And I hang up the phone. So I'm sitting there. The phone rings again. I look at the phone. I don't recognize the number. It's the bank. It's the bank. <laughs> I pick up the phone. I go, hello? They go, Hi, Michael Shanahan. This is Jennifer from SunTrust Bank. And I'm like, yeah. you, she's right behind you. <laughs> she's behind the window, behind the cubicle, touch. right behind you. Away. I'm in a glass cubicle. <laughs> oh, and I'm man. like, you're looking right at her as I'm she's like, talking to you. Yes. And she goes, Hi, we have, uh, we have a Scott Cugno here at the bank. He's trying to cash a check that <clears throat> apparently you had issued off of a refinance that you made. And I go, yes, we just need you to verify the amount and that it's Mr. I go, yeah, I believe it's Scott Cugno. I'm pretty sure it was for 29,000 even. Mm -hmm. And she's like, that's right. And I appreciate it. And thank you very much. And I went, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I said, well, real quick, I said, how did you get my number? This is numbers unlisted. She goes, oh, we called the title company and they gave us the phone number. 
had she called information, she'd have gotten the re- Michael Shannon. The real guy. But she called oh the title God. company because they did have that. That's where they banked. Right. So she called them. They gave her the number. They called. I said, okay. She's, I hope it's not a problem. Not a problem. No mm-hmm. big deal. Thank you very much. Boom. Hang up the phone. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. So the guy walks out five minutes later, counts out $29,000 and <laughs> stares at me. <laughs> and he gives me the 29000 And I remember I'm, I'm cautious, but I'm also feeling real cocky. Oh, yeah. So I stand up and he goes, Mr. Mr. Cugno, he said, I'd like to uh, – I'd like to let you know, I feel very apprehensive about this transaction. I go, really? Well, what is it exactly? I'm now stuffing money in my pocket. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What is it exactly? <laughs> and he goes, he said, I, I can't put my finger on it. And I go, I'm sure it'll come to you. And I walk off. I get in the car, tell Becky what happened. I'm like, you're not going to believe it. Holy shit. Lot, <laughs> drive off. I mean, she's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, ne- never. I never even tried to cash a check for that. Ever, ever since then, it was always under 29 it was always under 10,000